Hello, uh, this is Adele Jones. I'm in the UK at present. Uh, I've been in the UK for the month of October for a, a very special reason, but I, I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, in terms of updating our followers on the work that we've been doing f during October, the perhaps the most important thing is that this month has seen the trialing of our computer game, Jesse. Jesse designed from our original research in the Caribbean with Caribbean characters, dialogue, voices, environment, storyline, has been completed. And Dr. Ina trotman Jemet and Dr. Hazel Dabrio have been piloting the game in Barbados and Grenada. And uh, it is very clear that they've had major, major challenges in some instances, but the support of the schools, the teachers, the technicians attached to schools has been phenomenal. And uh, if you ever get a chance to see this video, I thank you very much uh, because uh, without you, this none of this would have been possible. The other thing that has been quite remarkable about the game's trial and bearing in mind that we are some way off completing uh, our analysis of the trial, so we don't know what impact it has had in scientific terms. But anecdotally, it is very clear that young people have found this method of engaging with them to be a very positive experience. Without exception, young people have reported through Ina and Hazel, they've reported that they absolutely love Jesse. Now I've played Jesse several times, as you would imagine, and of course I've grown to love Jesse too. And for those of you, well, you won't know yet, but Jesse is a 10 year old boy who experiences domestic violence in his home. And his story takes the player through several different levels and choices and interactions and hopefully learning along the way. Now, I would never have expected um, to get such incredible feedback, incredible feedback. Young people love Jesse. They understand what it is we're trying to get across. They appreciate that we've used a strategy that they can work with, that engages them, designed for them, that learning is at their pace without uh, the interruption of an adult. It's between them and Jesse what they learn about domestic violence. And that is both humbling and gratifying because this actually brings me uh, to the other momentous event of October, why I'm here. I'm here because we've had the launch of the Global Research Center, the None in Three Research Center. And it is really a credit uh, to the Caribbean team, to all of the people, the young people, the teachers, the parents, the supporters, the agencies, um, of course, our country leaders, Ina and Hazel, that, um, that we've managed to win such acclaim for our work that we are now funded by the UK government to roll out similar projects in five countries across the world. So we had a, a very stunning launch event, and of course, you'll hear me say everything's marvelous and stunning. It's not without its problems, trust me. Projects like this never are. But the reason why it was such a stunning launch is because our guest speaker was none other than the former EU ambassador to the Eastern Caribbean, Mikhail Barford. Mikhail was the visionary behind the Human Rights Grant that led to funding of None in Three Caribbean. So you can imagine our delight when he came across with his wife Maxia uh, to the UK to speak at the launch of the None in Three Research Centre. And we've had partners from the five countries meeting to together to look at the lessons we can learn from the Caribbean experience. Now, if that is not a legacy of sustainability, a legacy to, of, a, of testament to the work that's been done in the Caribbean, I don't know what is. So yes, it's been a very busy, a very hectic month, very fulfilling. And um, as we move forward, 
Our primary goals are to complete our analysis of the evaluation data of the game and then to make sure that we revise the game, we make any revisions that we can within the time we have to us and that we make it widely available as an education intervention across the region. Uh, we will also be organising our final project conference and um, disseminating the results of our evaluation as well as uh, all of our other outputs um, that we'll be disseminating between now and the end of the project. So we still have a lot of work to do, um, but it has been one incredible month. Uh, so thanks very much for listening and uh, I'll touch base with you next time. Bye bye. Hi there, this is October in Grenada and I'm speaking to you from the last school that we're just wrapping up with the, um, the game plays. So although it's gone um, well, in terms of us being um, at the end of the process it's not been smooth no part of it has been smooth at all um, but that's only because there have been um, numerous unexpected administrative challenges arising and technical difficulties arising um, but on the other hand we've had a really superb um, group of teachers and lab technicians who have really loved the game and been very committed to the process and have gone really above um, the call of duty in ensuring that we got everything done that we needed. Um, and the students themselves absolutely love the game. They think it's great. One of the difficulties we had with them was in um, preventing them from going right through to all the levels all at once, but they support and love the game. So um, here we are at the end of this challenging but rewarding process. Hello, I'm Ina trotman Jemmet, and this is my October 2017 report for the 93 Preventing Domestic Violence Research Project. The month of uh, October here in Barbados has been a tremendous one because uh, we saw the piloting of the serious computer game Jesse in four um, schools, that's two secondary and two primary schools. And of course, those were the experimental schools and we also had the cooperation of um, corresponding schools as the control groups. That's two secondary and, and two primary as well. I have to say that children really embrace the game tremendously. They showed quite a lot of enthusiasm and uh, I would say almost joy at having a computer game to play, but because it's a computer game, but uh, perhaps more importantly, they were able to, they said, learn a lot from the storyline. They were able to fully understand the issue that the game was trying to portray, that is domestic violence. And uh, many said that they learned a lot and some said they were able to understand Jesse's position. Indeed, they understood that um, victims who, are, um, who suffer need help and they were also in no doubt that the abuser also need help. For example, some of the comments about Rondell, the abuser, were he, he needs some real counseling. He really needs help to stop abusing. So um, it has been a, a, a tremendous success I think here in Barbados um, aided by the fact that uh, the principals and the teachers also gave the project, gave me the 100% support in the completion or the near completion of this research. There are two schools, one experimental and one control, who are yet to finish uh, and they will be completing by the 3rd of November. 
So all in all, it has been a tremendous success in terms of the pilot um, because of the children's reaction to it, the fact that they, they love the game, they want more of it, but more importantly, they understood the message. They really did understand the message of domestic violence and saw it for the serious situation that it is. So, until next time, that's all from me. Goodbye. Video report for October 2017, 9 in 3. Uh, we have some news. Uh, we're going to uh, say one by one. The first one is David Smith. The, the game developer of 9 in 3, the Caribbean project, has left the project. Uh, point number two. Uh, me, Rami Hamadi, has joined the team from October 2017 and uh, I'm trying to commence what he, he left regarding the um, web version and the mobile version of the Caribbean game. Uh, item number three, we are data mining the game stats of the players and that's what Dave Smith actually is doing uh, in his master research. Um, item number four, we finally uh, issued the web player for the game. So the game could be uploaded within the website of Nolan3 so anyone can use this game in further research maybe or we can use it as long as we have the codes, the login codes for the game. Uh, currently uh, I'm waiting until the, uh, the team, the animation team and the development team for five games will be hired and then we can start with uh, five games for five countries very soon as long as uh, um, Adele has hired the rest of the team. Thank you so much. That was uh, 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 the report of October 2017 in the Caribbean project. Thank you so much. Okay, good morning. Uh, this is a report from month uh, October. We almost get the problem. Uh, so, a lot of things happen. Uh, mainly, we're working on on publications from work package, from our work package. Uh, some good news: uh, two papers been, been accepted for publication. One with minor revision, the other with major revision. We've done uh, both revisions, and. Uh, the, the, the paper submitted Journal of Interpersonal Violence has been fully accepted. As a matter of fact, you know, I got an eye, uh, we received proof, uh, proofs, you know, from, 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 the, uh, from the journal, so it's all done. The child abuse and neglect paper, it's still under review, the, the revised version is still under review. We should hear it probably in the next two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so that's, that's, that's good news. Um, in terms of Karen work, we still working on two more papers. The one on the uh, psychopathy and child abuse, which is very important, extremely important paper, because for the first time we actually showing that that psychopathic traits are linked to the uh, 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 child abuse neglect, particularly sexual abuse, and also paper um, uh, uh, paper who's in charge of that paper? Nikki. Nikki, yeah, and Nikki's paper. Uh, we should finish before the end of this month, which is by the end of November. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All being well with Nikki, yeah. Yes. Yeah, of course, of course. And uh, we're in touch with Hazel and Ina, and the data collection looks good. We're hoping to receive all service for, from all time points uh, in two weeks' time, based on my last correspondence with Ina. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else we got to discuss? Yeah, so once the data arrives, oh, yeah. um, myself, I'll be start formally starting my research fellow position um, on the project on the 20th of November. That's all confirmed now. Um, so I'll be here when the data arrives. Um, so first job will basically be to get the undergrads who's going to help us, that helped us uh, last year when we did this, most, some of the same, yes. and then some different. They've been in touch with me, yeah. Yeah. So we'll make sure they're trained up um, and good to go with what they need to do with data collection, um, and I'll be working with them 
on entering the data as soon as that's here. Um, and then later down the line, we'll also start the analysis together on that, won't we? Yes. Yeah. We have to analyze data before Christmas because we're presenting data in uh, January at the conference in uh, Grenada. Mm. So, yes. Now it's mm. going to be a lot of work for the next two months. Mm. A lot of work. Yeah. Always good when the data comes in, though. Um, should say as well on the, the Journal of Interpersonal Violence paper that was accepted. We, we pr did some work on promoting that, and I think there's already like two and a half thousand reads already. So Yes. And yeah. wide as well, you know, because you can track it by research gate. It's being mm. read all over the world, so good that the findings are being disseminated widely. Yes, yeah, so I've been, I've been, I've been receiving a few emails. Uh, I've received a few emails uh, uh, from from some academics in the world, you know, interested in this in this relationship between the child abuse and 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 deviant cognitions, violent cognitions. So that's it's it's good. Yeah. What we're trying to say, you know, that the paper is just public. Well, it's not even published. It's been, it's, it's been, print, yeah. yeah, it's not in print. It's already made a significant. Uh, 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 impact. Impact, yes. Sorry, it's early in the morning in England. <laughs> Thank you very much. This is the media report for October 2017. Microfilm number four has been broadcasted via the Caribbean Media Corporation over the course of one week, and after that, it has been and will continue to be used as an unscheduled filler on that network. In production currently is the documentary on the research team to be aired on November 25th, 2017 with the microfilm number 5 following for broadcast at the end of the month. Our social media statistics so far are as follows. Facebook has 3,382 followers, Instagram has 72 followers, and Twitter has 144 followers. Thank you. This has been the media update for October 2017.